So good morning. Uh, my name is Tom Sparkman. I'm the uh, Vice President and General Manager of Spansion's uh, Analog Division. Um, and what I'd like to talk to you today is about a new class of products we have called energy harvesting products. If, uh, if you look out in the press and in the world today, you hear about this topic of, of Internet of Things. And, and what does that actually mean? Well, for us, we, our vision is that there's going to be this vast proliferation of sensors, that uh, sensors will be scattered far and wide, uh, wearables, uh, uh, products that will sense your body functions, health functions, uh, sensors uh, in, the, uh, in the air conditioning to take temperature, to take pressure, airflow. Um, and it's going to be literally hundreds of millions, if not billions of devices which are going to be out there sensing things, reporting them back to home computers, uh, central computers. And these, these millions and millions, if not billions of sensors, uh, it's going to be practically impossible to have all of these things powered, powered by a battery. Um, and what Spansion is doing is taking these particular devices and instead of powering the battery is harvesting energy from the environment. Uh, the energy can be any one of sources. Uh, the particular device that I have here is powered by a solar cell, but it can be equally powered by vibration, by, by, by motion itself, uh, or by a difference in temperature. Uh, a simple few degrees C is enough to power a particular circuit. Let me show you this one that I've got right here. This is a location-based product. Uh, retailers would use this to, to know when you and your iPhone are coming close to a particular product. Uh, let's say a soup company wanted to give you a 20% discount on a can of soup. Well, when they know that you're close to that can of soup, they can have an app show up on your iPhone and say, hey, buy this today, I'll give you a dollar off. And the way they do this is by this particular uh, device can tell, as you see by the orange circle, when you're close or when you're far away, uh, they know now that you're in the proximity or further away from that can of soup. And when you get close, they know to send you that particular ad. Now this particular device here has an RF circuit which can transmit Bluetooth to my iPhone, has a microprocessor of course that has, provides the intelligence, and then it's got a small device that can harvest the energy from the solar cell attached and no battery. We think that that's going to be the way that these sensors are going to be practical, is absolutely no battery required. And in this particular device, our energy harvesting device, there is no battery required. You could equally power this on a piezo-resistive sensor, which is what we have here, and simply by flexing and taking the energy from a flex of a circuit, whether you step on it, whether you press a button, we can also transmit the same information. So again, any one of three energy sources can be used in order to harvest energy from the atmosphere. <clears throat> again, energy harvesting products from Spansion, check it out, take a look. Thank you very much.